First heavy challenge, Lissandro Martinez. A shy introvert born from poverty would chase his boyhood dreams to become a tough-as-nails defender with a winning mentality. In this video, we look at Lissandro Martinez's story, from his early years in poverty to developing his style of play to his rising emergence in the world of football. Lissandro Martinez was born on January 18, 1998, in Gualaguay, Argentina, a town in the province of Entre Rios. It's 234 kilometers from Buenos Aires, Argentina's capital city. The Argentine was born to his mother, Silvina Cabrera, and father, Raul Martinez. His humble beginnings began in his family's shelter. His family struggled from poverty during his childhood, and that shaped his thinking about life. Martinez is closer to his mother, who has supported him throughout his career. Martinez also has a younger sister, for whom he is godfather. His grandparents were also influential in his childhood. He used to spend a lot of time at their house, and it's clear that this kind of humility served him well later in life. Martinez spent his childhood chasing a football. He admired fellow Argentine Gabriel Heinzer as a child. The aspiring footballer joined a local academy, Club Urquiza, at the age of four, where he spent four years receiving on-and-off field football education. In the year 2006, the World Cup year hosted by Germany, the youngster from Gualaguay felt more motivated to become a professional football player. The joys of seeing his hero, Carlos Tevez, shine at the tournament gave him motivation. That year, he joined Club Libertad following a successful trial. In the year 2014, Martinez secured a successful trial with the great Rosario Club, Newell's Old Boys, following the footsteps at a club that raised Lionel Messi. With Newell's Old Boys, the young talent turned into a versatile footballer. He became a boy who could adapt to any position required by his coach. It didn't take long for Martinez to turn into a prodigy with Newell's Old Boys. From the moment the Gualaguay kid knew that he could do something well, his confidence began to explode. He made his professional debut for Newell's in the club's final fixture of the 2016-17 season, when he played the full match in a loss to Godoy Cruz. Martinez was almost in the same situation as Lionel Messi when FC Barcelona snatched him up from Newell's old boys. This time, scouts from top European clubs began to take notice of the defender, who scored goals, won trophies and made headlines. Martinez was confident in his abilities, because he knew he was the type of player that top European clubs would come looking for. There was no rush for the young Argentine. Martinez decided to stay in Argentina for a few more years, before accepting any transfer offers elsewhere. The fast-rising Argentine defender continued his footballing maturation by joining fellow Argentine Primera División side Defensa y Justicia on loan in August 2017. His first appearance for Defensa arrived on October 13th in a defeat against San Lorenzo. Two appearances later, he scored his first senior goal in an away win versus Temperley. His performances led to being called up to the U-20 national team for the 2017 South American Youth Football Championship in Ecuador. Defensa y Justicia signed Martinez permanently in June 2018. In less than a year after he signed for the club, AFC Ajax scouts had travelled to Martinez's family house to knock at their door. <laughs> followed his progress for two and a half years before signing him. With his parents' approval, he accepted the enormous challenge of traveling to Europe at the age of 21. Martinez's transfer to Ajax cost the Dutch club 7 million euros. They hurriedly arranged for a medical, which was completed on May the 20th to prevent other clubs from hijacking the move. Martinez had a meteoric rise during his time at Ajax, such a rise carried over to the national level, where he helped Argentina in winning the Copa America trophy in 2021. However, 
the big move to Ajax was not all peaches for young Martinez. Early on, he found it difficult to acclimatize to the surroundings. His parents, as well as his girlfriend, gave him the needed emotional support to get used to his new environment. He had to settle down into a footballing philosophy that he'd not experienced before. It was a chastening ordeal, which left him frustrated at times. As he himself revealed in an interview, At first I wanted to run home crying. I felt horrible. I'm a player who likes to have the ball, but when I had to play on one or two quick touches, I got killed. It was amazing how late I used to get there. Martinez battled through a settling-in period, which is normal for any player. A few local Dutch teammates such as Klaas-Jan Huntelaar and Donny van der Beek helped him in settling in at Ajax. With the support he got from teammates and family members, Martinez managed to quickly settle down. Martinez made 120 appearances over three seasons with Ajax, winning two Eredivisie titles and one KNVB Cup. He also won the Ajax Player of the Year award in the 2021-22 season. With manager Eric Tan Hag signing as the new manager of Manchester United, it was only a matter of time before he came calling for Martinez. Martinez is nicknamed the Butcher due to his aggressive style of play. One of Ajax's teammates gave him the nickname because of how aggressive he gets on the pitch. In an interview, Martinez was asked, Is it true that they call you the Butcher in your club, Ajax? Why do they call you this nickname? Martinez responded, It's most likely because I'm aggressive in my game. Truth is, I don't know who gave me that nickname. Also, it's because I like to tackle each ball as the last. My teammates told me that the nickname suited me. He is primarily a centre-back, though he is capable of playing at left-back and as a central midfielder, having played there at times for Defensa Justicia and Ajax. He is a ball-playing centre-back and is known for his range of passing and composure on the ball. In the 2021-22 Eredivisie season, he averaged more passes per 90 minutes than any other player. Before signing him, Ajax's scouts characterised Martinez as a left-footed ball-playing defender who is tough as nails and possesses a winning mentality. On July 16, 2022, it was announced that Manchester United had agreed a deal with Ajax for the signing of Martinez for a reported transfer fee between £47 to £49 million, plus £8.5 million in add-ons. The transfer was officially completed on July 27, when Martinez signed a five-year contract with the club. The next day, it was confirmed that he would wear the number 6 shirt last worn by Paul Pogba. On August the 7th, Martinez made his club debut in a 2-1 home loss against Brighton and Hove Albion in the Premier League. With his solid defending, progressive possession and passing play, and winning mentality since his arrival in Manchester, he has become a revelation to the Manchester United defence, which is clearly carrying over onto his teammates. He has quickly become a fan favourite at the club, living up to his nickname, The Butcher. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.